Beneath the glow of the moonlight, two men etched history in the lunar dust, setting the tone for an achievement unparalleled in human exploration. That moment on July 20th, 1969, wasn't just an astronomical accomplishment. It was a testimony to human resilience, vision, and tenacity. Yet as time has distanced us from the Apollo 11 mission, the eerie whispers of doubt and skepticism have managed to claw their way into the narrative. Now imagine a dim lit room where crime investigators huddle over a table cluttered with photographs, mission logs, and newspaper clippings. Among the papers lies a controversial Fox documentary from 2001, Conspiracy Theory, Did We Land on the Moon? This documentary for many became the proverbial match that lit the conspiracy fire, turning quiet doubts into full-blown public debates. Ironically, while the documentary aimed to unravel what was deemed a hoax, it inadvertently planted seeds of skepticism in minds across the globe. Yet one man emerged from the shadows to challenge the storm of misinformation. Phil Plate, now renowned for his methodical and relentless myth-debunking prowess, was not just defending a historical event. For him, it was about preserving the integrity of science, the courage of the astronauts, and the sanctity of facts in a world increasingly susceptible to seductive tales. But how did Plate, who previously enjoyed a relatively modest audience, suddenly become the face of truth against the tide of the moon landing conspiracy? Insiders from the crime investigation realm were intrigued. They found that Plate was, coincidentally, poised to challenge the Fox documentary's claims, equipped with research for a book he was penning. As the Fox documentary fanned the flames of conspiracy, Platt launched a meticulously crafted rebuttal. His analysis wasn't merely a surface-level debunking. It dissected each claim, laying bare the lack of evidence or twisted interpretations at their core. In our view, the Apollo pictures were faked. For those in the cold case world, his methods were reminiscent of the meticulous process they undertook when unraveling deeply entrenched mysteries. But as every crime enthusiast knows, to understand the present, one must delve into the past. The Apollo 11 mission had its critics, even in 1969. The technology was nascent, the Cold War was at its peak, and the race to outdo the adversary was fierce. Could the U.S. have orchestrated an elaborate ruse to claim victory in the space race? This question, rooted in the political and technological context of the times, was the conspiracy's heart. Though we now have a myriad of evidence affirming the moon landing's authenticity, the conspiracy's persistence mirrors that of cold cases that refuse closure. Much like unresolved mysteries, the moon landing conspiracy thrives in the crevices of doubt waiting for the right moment or evidence to emerge, illuminating the truth. The 1970s, a decade rich in cinematic innovation and a breeding ground for countercultural movements, witnessed the rise of an intriguing sentiment. Amidst the backdrop of Watergate and a growing distrust in governmental narratives, the Apollo missions were not immune to scrutiny. Two films in particular piqued public curiosity. The James Bond thriller, Diamonds Are Forever, and the suspenseful Capricorn One. Both, in their unique ways, cast shadows of doubt over the legitimacy of the moon landings. Diamonds Are Forever, while not directly commenting on the moon landing, showcased a staged moon setup, hinting at the possibility of deception. Meanwhile, Capricorn One, though revolving around a fictitious Mars mission, teased the idea that such colossal space endeavors could be fabricated for political gain. These cinematic portrayals whether intentionally or inadvertently, sowed seeds of doubt in the collective psyche. As decades rolled on, the whispers of skepticism found their way into our living rooms through popular TV shows. The X-Files, with its enigmatic tagline, The Truth Is Out There, often delved into government cover-ups and extraterrestrial mysteries. An episode playfully, yet evocatively, hinted at the moon landing being a televised sham. Futurama, too, in its futuristic satirical setting, jested about the moon landing's authenticity. No one knows where, when, or how man first landed on the moon. I do. Even Friends, the beloved sitcom, wasn't left untouched. A casual quip by Joey insinuated a shared cultural acknowledgement of the conspiracy theory. But beyond the realms of fiction, startling data unveils the depth 
of this skepticism. A consistent finding reveals that about 5% of Americans harbor doubts about the moon landing's authenticity. To visualize this number, imagine filling the entire city of Los Angeles, and then some, with moon landing skeptics. That's over 16 million individuals questioning one of humankind's most celebrated achievements. The conspiracy's endurance, intriguingly paralleling characteristics of cold cases, raises questions. Is it merely the allure of the unresolved? Or is there a deeper societal reflection at play? As we explore this tapestry woven with threads of skepticism and pop culture, we're left to ponder the complex interplay of truth, belief, and the stories we tell ourselves. For cold case enthusiasts, the key lies in the details, the overlooked fingerprint, the misplaced timeline, the unconsidered witness. Similarly, in the enduring debates surrounding the moon landing, NASA's approach has been a masterclass in detailed, evidence-based debunking. Over the decades, with unwavering patience, the agency has presented fact after fact to counter the moon landing conspiracy. Firstly, there's the tangible, touchable evidence, moon rocks. NASA's astronauts didn't return empty-handed from their lunar excursions. They brought back samples, moon rocks, whose unique properties remain unmatched by any earthly counterpart. These rocks, studied and analyzed by international scientists, give testimony to their extraterrestrial origin. Next, there's the matter of the equipment left behind by these astronauts. Somewhere on that desolate lunar surface are devices that can reflect laser beams back to Earth. Scientists, in a demonstration of this truth, have pointed powerful lasers towards the moon, only to detect a reflection, a beacon of truth in the vast expanse of space. Then, as technology advanced, NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter circled our satellite, capturing images that, for any discerning observer, should have settled the debate once and for all. These photos displayed the landing sites, the tracks of lunar rovers, and the abandoned equipment from various Apollo missions. But confrontations weren't limited to just presentations or evidence showcases. The debate took a personal tone when astronauts like Buzz Aldrin were confronted. Aldrin, second only to Armstrong to walk on the moon, once faced a moon landing denier, leading to a heated altercation. You're a coward and a liar and a thief. These confrontations reveal the intense passion and conviction from both sides. Yet as Phil Plate, the vigilant sentinel of space facts, points out, the very act of engaging with such conspiracy theories, no matter how well-intentioned, might be lending them an undue sense of legitimacy. By putting them on the same platform as the truth, are we inadvertently fanning the flames? However, NASA's recent ace might just be the most compelling piece of evidence yet. A 4K video tour of the moon, with its unparalleled clarity, serves as an unspoken counter-argument. Viewers are treated to a comprehensive vista of lunar landscapes, diving into the intriguing terrains of the Tycho Crater and revisiting history at the Apollo 17 landing site. With every frame, every intricate detail captured, the video silently challenges skeptics as if asking, is this not proof enough? Within the dimly lit chambers of cyber corridors, theories brew, whispers multiply, and unverified tales find fervent believers. In the world of crime and cold cases, it's known, where there's doubt, there's intrigue. Yet while cold cases have timelines, witnesses, and tangible evidence, the world of conspiracy theories is more elusive, and its spread, intriguingly, is often a reflection of larger societal undercurrents. Historically, the birth and spread of conspiracies coincided with societal unrest, political upheaval, or economic downturns. Like a mirroring pool, they've reflected the collective fears, anxieties, and doubts of the populace. When societal faith wavers, alternative narratives find footing. It's not just about questioning an event or a narrative, but an expression of deeper distrust, a subliminal challenge to overarching structures of power and authority. Enter the digital age. If older conspiracy theories spread through whispered conversations and underground publications, today's digital technology has given them wings. The rise of social media platforms, with their promise of democratizing information, has been a double-edged sword. On one hand, voices that were once marginalized have found platforms and audiences. On the other, the filters of credibility and verification have grown porous. Picture a quiet night 
where a crime enthusiast is deep diving into an unresolved case from the 1960s. A single click on an interesting sidebar link, and they're spiraling into a web of conspiracy theories. The algorithms note the interest, and soon, every digital step is shadowed by more such tantalizing suggestions. The line between verified fact and captivating fiction blurs. In this digital labyrinth, confirmation bias finds fertile ground, and tales, no matter how outlandish, find believers. Moreover, the very structure of platforms like Twitter or Facebook, with their echo chambers, ensure that users often receive information that aligns with their pre-existing beliefs. It's a loop. The more one believes, the more they're fed similar narratives, reinforcing their beliefs further. The rapidity with which information or misinformation spreads adds another layer of complexity. Before fact-checkers can verify a claim, it's been shared, tweeted, and accepted by thousands. In a world where every cold case enthusiast knows the value of sifting through information, of differentiating between crucial clues and red herrings, the digital realm of conspiracy theories poses a challenge. How does one discern? How does one prevent the erosion of truth? This dance of technology, psychology, and sociology, where tales grow legs and sprint across the globe, is a phenomenon worthy of deep study. Behind every shared post, every fervent discussion on an online forum, is a narrative that taps into something deeper, something inherently human. And as the lines between fact and fiction intermingle, society stands at a precipice, looking into an abyss of the unknown. In the shadowy alleys of espionage and the glowing arenas of scientific achievement, the 1969 moon landing stands as a beacon, casting dual rays of technological triumph and political prowess. Amidst the frigid tension of the Cold War, when every satellite launched and every code deciphered had undertones of one-upmanship, planting a flag on the lunar surface was more than just a step for man. It was a giant leap in the geopolitical chess game. Yet, while many stood in awe, looking up, there were those who stared with squinted eyes of skepticism. The human psyche, complex and ever-evolving, has pockets of resistance especially when monumental truths challenge their foundational beliefs. The appeal of conspiracy theories, to some extent, can be rooted in a deep-seated need for uniqueness, a desire to possess knowledge or beliefs that set one apart from the collective. Add to this a cocktail of distrust in officialdom, and the ground becomes fertile for alternate, often unverified narratives to flourish. However, as the decades turn the pages of progress, Video technology emerged as both a challenger and a champion. On one hand, it gave conspiracy theorists tools to dissect footage, finding shadows and flags to fuel their claims. On the other, it became the very instrument of undeniable proof, especially with advancements like 4K video capturing the moon in unmatched detail. These high-definition visuals, paradoxically, not only work to debunk long-standing myths, but also reignite a passion for the mysteries beyond our blue planet. The ripples of this renewed interest are palpable. A new generation, armed with better technology and bolstered by the clarity of these visuals, dreams of Mars and beyond. And as the global community stands on the cusp of further space exploration, one wonders if the stories of tomorrow will once again challenge belief, or if, this time, the world will watch in unified wonder. Whatever the case, the stars await, silently beckoning us to seek, to explore, to understand. In a landscape inundated with information where each byte and pixel carry the weight of truth and fiction, NASA stands as a lighthouse. Its steadfast commitment to not just pioneering new frontiers, but also ensuring the dissemination of pure, unaltered knowledge is a testament to the agency's belief in the power of an informed populace. The importance of this dedication can't be understated in an era where misinformation can spread as swiftly as a shooting star. Consider the backdrop of NASA's renewed lunar ambitions. As engineers draft blueprints and astronauts gear up for the next wave of lunar explorations, the echoes of yesteryear's Apollo missions ring in the corridors. The challenges these brave men and women faced, technological, physiological, and even psychological, are not mere footnotes but pivotal chapters. Understanding them, in all their gritty detail, serves as a foundation, a launchpad for the leaps humanity aims to take in the coming decades. 
Yet amidst this scientific fervor lies a persistent specter, the moon landing conspiracy. This enduring myth, which challenges the authenticity of the lunar landings, might perplex the rational mind, but it offers invaluable insights. In its shadow, the saga of how information, when warped, can shape beliefs, unfolds. But more crucially, it illuminates the pathway of debunking in the digital age. Here, NASA's role transitions from a space agency to a defender of truth, as it methodically dispels myths with the brilliance of facts. This dance between belief and reality, myth and fact, serves as a vibrant tapestry of human curiosity and skepticism. It reminds us of the imperative of scientific literacy, especially as we stand on the precipice of new cosmic adventures. After all, in a universe brimming with mysteries, the most profound journeys often begin with understanding and distinguishing the known from the unknown, the real from the imagined. And in this voyage of comprehension, every detail, every fragment of truth shapes our trajectory. As we navigate this expansive universe of knowledge and wonder, your engagement and curiosity fuel our journey. If this voyage resonated with you, do subscribe for more celestial insights. Give us a like if you're as fascinated with the cosmos as we are, and share your thoughts, questions, or theories in the comments. Let's continue this exploration together. And if you're yearning for another deep dive into the mysteries of the universe, click on the video on your screen and join us for more adventures. Stay curious, space enthusiasts!